YouTube, hello, welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. We have just finished stage one and we're off to stage number two. We're gonna go through uh, Gruntilda's lair here and see if there's anything else we can throw these jiggies into. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. These are gonna be shorter episodes. I'm gonna try to keep them to about 20 minutes each or so. Um, obviously, oh, here's an outdoor. Um, I'm gonna try to keep it to one world per episode. It's kind of my goal. This is an outdoor sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful musical spells. Open it up then, jam jars. It's not that simple to open it. You must collect the musical notes from the world. How many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores from the worlds must be at least this to break Grunty's magic. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Thank you. Even though I already took care of that. But there we go. Pog. <laughs> that door was easy you got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. All right, so it looks like we've got some stuff going on in here. I don't think we have the ability to use that just yet. Kazooie shock jump disc. Find me and I'll tell you how to use it. Go ahead and throw two jiggies in here. To remove pieces that you have already put down, press the down C button. But once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. It's fine. We've got plenty of pieces to spare. Dope. Treasure Trove Cove is the next one. And all we have to do is jump into the treasure chest. What are you? Hello there, young ones. I'm Brentilda, Gruntilda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press B if you'd like to hear them. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with salted slug flavored toothpaste. She also washes her hair with engine oil. Yuck. And she gets her clothes from Saggy Maggie's Boutique. Okay. Well, that was about as useful as expected. <laughs> so it looks like we can go up there. I want to um, find where that treasure chest was. Though. I imagine it's over this way. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two the same color to create a shortcut. Oh, cool. Shortcuts. All right. We found ourselves into a new area. I still haven't found the treasure chest thing that we just opened. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that's about, but it doesn't look like we can do much here either. I'm going to kind of explore a little bit, and I'll come back if I find anything in particular. Looks like we may have found a way to drain the water. No, it makes these come up. Okay. The timed. Can't break that open, huh? Boop. Aha! Gotcha. This must just be for a jiggy, right? This can't be for like another stage. Grunty wears massive bloomers under that repulsive dress of hers. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Big Naka. My sister sings in her own band, Grunty and the Cauldron Crew. They're awful. Thank you so much for your help, Rintilda. Whee! I'm a red feather. I help Kazooie fly when she knows how. <laughs> that drains the water. Or does that just open it? All right, great. I'm sure this will go well. Here we go. Oh, it's another, uh, it's another stage to unlock. Man, I don't know. Should we unlock that? I guess we probably should, huh? If you think I'm rather soft, I'll be waiting in the loft. All right, so we unlocked Bubble Gloop Swamp. Which Lord knows where that is, but it's open now. All right, so there wasn't really anything in there outside of us using the rest of our jiggies from the first stage to unlock another world door. So we're just gonna kind of cruise along here. There's another music door that we can't get into because it needs 180. So we're just gonna jump down. Looks like there's some eggs down there and another path to go through. We'll go in the underwater path really quick just to make sure there's nothing hiding in here. I imagine this is just a way back up. 
Ah, unfortunate. It looks like it's another um puzzle. Hi, Brentola. Ugly Grunty's nickname was Cauldron Butt at Witch School. I also know that putrid parrot puke is her favorite smell. And the old hag's favorite color is gruesome green. I imagine eventually we're going to get a useful hint from Brentilda, but for now, nothing great. I guess we'll head through this little doorway, see if maybe the uh, world's in here. Oh, this is looking promising. Yeah, all right. Check up here really fast. Looks like another cannon. All right, we'll figure out what the cannon's for later. Into the next world we go. Ahoy there. This be Treasure Trove Cove. There be two new moves for ye to find. Oh God, it's a shark! Huh, okay, so avoid the water unless I have to. Got it, ow! Yellow jerk. <laughs> hey, this Nipper's Beach. You find nothing without Nipper's help. Help us then, crustacean brain. Or a cheeky bird need feathers clipping. Oh yeah, just try it, shellhead. Feeble eggs no match for Nipper's shell. Take that, big mouth burn. Okay, so I can't do anything with that just yet. We'll come back to him. Seems like the pirate's having a bad day. Oh, bottles. This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly. At last, it better be easy, Boggle Eyes. Simple enough for you, bird brain. Just stand on a flying disc and press A. Here's 25 red feathers to help you into the air. See ya. Ahoy there. I'm Captain Blubber, and I lost me treasure when me ship crashed. Well, go find it then, Blubber Guts. Arr, but I can't swim. Can you help old sea hippo? Sure, we'll find it for you. In we get. Hello, hello, what's this? Ahoy there, I be Blubber's treasure. Doesn't look like there's any way to get over to that side. So it's probably down in the, uh, like the side of the boat or something. So I'll have to look in the side of the boat. Yep, there it is right there. Another piece of the treasure. Doesn't look like there's anything hiding up here, but I just want to double check. Let's go give those back to old Blubber. <laughs> me treasure, thank you, me hearties. Take this reward. I'm off to spend, spend, spend. Get ourselves a jiggy. Oh. Jiggy number one for the stage. All right, so we can fly now. I'm gonna try to avoid flying for a bit just to try to find all the stuff on the ground. I don't feel like getting in the air just yet. Even though the game is practically begging me to. <laughs> that looks like a bomb. In the sandcastle we go. That's Banjo Kazooie on the side. Do I have to touch the buttons or something? I see what's happening here. Oh boy. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if there's a way to like drain the water or something and maybe that's how we get this done. Doesn't seem like we can do anything with this just now though, so we're gonna head back out. Well, that looks like something we can run up, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I love how they look just like grumpy with me that I got them to this low HP. All right, up we get. X marks the spot, huh? Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. Get ourselves alive. It was pointing over here and I'm guessing because it um was with a flying pad, it probably is in the air. We're gonna grab some of the, uh, the notes while we're here too. What's funny is I've only found one Jiggy out of the 10 that are on this stage. So this stage is pretty huge. Like I said though, uh, if we end up keeping things to, um, we'll keep these shorter episodes, um, just so they're little bite-sized episodes instead of being like huge long, like as long as I finish the world kind of episodes. So that was the five Mumbo Crystals for this stage. I still had one from the, uh, from outside, I think it was one. There's Jiggy number two. And another Jinjo. Cruising right along. There's the X again. Oh no! And I missed the Jinjo. Let's not talk about that. Oh dearie me and I can't get back up. 
Well, there is another Rumble Crystal down there. So I guess it's not just uh just five per stage then. And there's the other X. We're gonna grab that Mumbo Crystal first. And as Bottles said, we can only carry 50 feathers, so we're not gonna worry too much about the feather count either. We're just gonna go yeet. Okay. And then seven over that way. And now this way. Oh, Nintendo 64 controls, I don't miss you at all. <laughs> not at all. Oh yeah, this is great. All right, we'll just come back there when we have the jump thing. Well, that was rude. What do you mean you'll never find me now? It's probably back on top of the thing, huh? That's what I would do. All right, we found bottles. We're gonna get our uh, our high jump ability now. Just kazooie to it, my legs are tired. <laughs> Sick. That's all the moves to the stage, so all you have to do is hold A and then she jumps super high. And we can glide as well. Oh, okay. Obviously did that way too early. The camera in this game is pretty awful, I won't lie. Um, I know a lot of people have a lot of nostalgia for this game, and myself included. Like, it's very nice to be able to play Banjo-Kazooie again, but like, it's bad. <laughs> Got ourselves Jiggy number three for this stage. Alrighty. So I'm betting the. Uh, ow. I forgot there was fall damage. Um, I'm betting that the treasure marked is probably back where it started. So we're gonna go check back over there. It was not back here. Okay, so we're gonna fly around and look then. Too high! Okay. Ah, there it is. Got the one at the top of the lighthouse. There was probably an easier way to do that, but uh, you know what? This is how we did it. So, this will put a Jiggy in the uh, overworld. Shot it out of that cannon we were trying to do. Dope. And then where was the X? There it is. It was literally right next to the thing. Okay. That figures. Ooh, there's Jinjo on top of the, um... I'll come back around for you, bud. Hey, I touched it. What are you gonna do about it? That golden treasure was for me! Now harder still, the game will be. Alright, so we're gonna head back around because there was a crystal skull underneath here. Nice. Oh, I didn't. I could have just climbed up the mast. All right, we're gonna head back up here just so we can um, grab the music notes that were over this way. All right, looks like we've got a couple more music notes here, some more in that tree, and then we're gonna head over to that island so we can get the uh, the X, which I assume is just gonna be a jiggy. Got it. Dope. Okay, so. There's another crystal skull. Let's go ahead and grab that quick. We'll heal back up with this honeycomb hut. Shark Food Island, huh? Shark Food Island just feels like the place to be, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's go ahead and fly over there. We'll find a fly spot first, and then we'll fly over there. All right, off on our way to Shark Food Island. I'm sure this won't end poorly. Hmm, can't actually land on Shark Food Island. All right, so we haven't found Mumbo on this island yet. I guess we're just gonna use the uh, the flying thing to kind of explore. Me Leaky, no good for water. Can bear block hole with pebble. Leaky patched up, now empty water for bear. Got it. And now we can go down and get that one. Back in the sand castle we go. Then a Z, two O's, and an IE. So a Z, two O's. Imagine there's no hiding here. And then an I, and then an E. 
Bam. Oh, will you? Will you cut me down to size? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm! Guess that didn't go so well for you, did it? Huh. All right, so there's still seven jig or three jiggies to get on this level. I'm gonna pause the episode here. We're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna go back to the, uh, we'll come back to this in episode number three. Hope y'all are enjoying the series so far. Appreciate you being here. If you are enjoying the series, make sure you leave a like. It tells me what you guys are enjoying, what you guys aren't. I appreciate it. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.